in 1982, Greg is racing for the Renault team. It's his second full season with the professionals. He's 21 and ready to show the world he's ambitious. A stage victory in Tirreno Adriatico, where third place overall behind Italian Saroni, and the second place at the Worlds at Goodwood are his most remarkable results of the season. One week after the Worlds, he starts in the Tour de l'Avenir, the Tour of the Future. A French stage race similar to the Tour de France but for all amateurs and professionals under the age of 25. Amongst them Laurent Fignon, Robert Miller, Lucio Herrera and Russian Sergei Sukorochenkov, who won the race two times before. But it's these Germans who take control of the race from the start. They win the first three stages and the team time trial. Greg Lamont wins a 21 km individual time trial on a difficult track, but it's the next day when the peloton is really challenged with eight mountains and a finish on top of La Planolet. Greg decides to have a go for the lead and attacks. Nobody is able to follow the American who wins the stage with a 5 minute and a half lead on Robert Miller. Lamont is now the new leader of the race with an advantage of more than 7 minutes on Miller. With the yellow jersey on his shoulders, Greg is now riding in the peloton as a real leader. He controls the race, the Colombian stripe had failed, the Soviet's leader is annihilated and the East Germans are far behind. Greg confirms his superiority by winning the final time trial finishing in front of the headquarters of Mavic. The future looks promising and so is the kiss with Cathy who appears like a real miss on the podium and is the only podium girl ever that kissed Greg on his lips. <laughs>